going to review a few slides from the active insufficiency module. Active insufficiency is when muscles are contracting at extreme ranges of motion. So typically this is for two joint muscles. Think rectus femoris, your hamstring muscle group, gastrocnemius, biceps brachii, triceps brachii. Typically we talk about active insufficiency in shortened positions. So for our hamstring, it is shortened when the knee is flexed and the hip is extended. Remember, it is a two joint muscle that extends the hip because it's posterior to the hip and flexes the knee because the line of pull is posterior to the knee joint. This decreased force is called, um, is why we call this active insufficiency and this low force is due to the shortened sarcomeres in this posture and that should lead you to thinking immediately of the force length curve because the shortened sarcomeres are unable to generate force because a lower number of cross bridges are formed. And remember, the number of cross bridges is directly proportional to force production. So let's go to this force length curve. So we have force on the Y, sarcomere length on the X. When you're in an optimal length, you have the optimal number of cross bridges, and so you have a higher force production. When you are short in a shortened position, the sarcomeres are shortened, the actin filaments overlap, there are less cross bridge sites to form, therefore you have decreased number of cross bridges and thus a decreased number of force, or amount of force, so you're on the low end of the force axis. And also when the muscle is lengthened, the sarcomeres are lengthened, you can't have the optimal number of cross bridges formed and the force is decreased. This occurs in the joint as well, so then we have to measure torque. Torque is force times moment arm, and that's how we measure quote unquote strength in the human body. And then it's based on elbow angle. And as you change your elbow angle, your biceps brachii length will change. It is optimal mid-range. It is less torque reduction when the muscle is shortened, and less torque reduction when the muscle is lengthened at full extension. So what do we do in um, manual muscle testing, which is an application of this concept, which is on page 298 in your book. So basically they want to isolate different muscles for manual muscle testing, and you can use the force length curve to focus on them. So if you want to focus on the gluteus maximus, which is a hip extensor, you don't want to get contributions from the hamstring muscle group. So what do you do to knock out that hamstring? You flex the knee because when you flex the knee, you are shortening the hamstring muscle group, putting it on a lower force production end of its force length curve, and then in this posture, you will be focused on the gluteus maximus during your hip extensor muscle strength test.